What's up chats? Hopefully you guys are doing good. We got some good news for the Xbox Series X and we also have this video right here. This is an accurate video, man. They really did this to the Halo Infinite fans, but all in all, I'm kind of glad. I, I think that's a good news, right? I'll definitely elaborate. We got some news about the PS5 event as well. We're hearing that it is getting pushed back because they do not want to blow all their load at once because Microsoft is about to blow their load. That's what the insiders are saying. We also got some people mad, some people are offended, so that's always good for content. I'll definitely talk about it. Insiders are also saying that Xbox Series X will be $100 cheaper. And seriously, if that happens, I think that's gonna convert some Sony ponies. We got news about the Call of Duty 2020 reveal, so definitely stick around for all of that. We got a lot to talk about. And uh, let's just get right into it. If you're new here, I cover all the big gaming news, so gonna make the buck is subscribe, Mardo. And uh, our first story is about Halo Infinite. And you Know what this got people kind of mixed people cannot believe it people are like this is dirty to the point where dr enif shared his expertise by saying that good decision game needs a lot of work and personally i i think he do be spitting facts i mean one in the comments if you're is spitting facts this is what they say today i want to share an important halo infinite development update with the community we have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure that the team has advocate time to deliver a halo game experience that meets our vision and essentially they're just blaming the roni situation and i seriously think that is a good move right like if you're an xbox fan you are a fan of halo you really are looking forward to this game i genuinely think this is a good move because the roni situation has caused a lot of problems in the back end okay make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button i uh, definitely do not want anyone to catch the roni okay but like I said before, I believe in the gameplay more than the graphics. Sure, graphics are going to attract people. And surely this is going to be a 2020 game. So you know what? Graphics should be good. But personally, I'm a gameplay kind of guy, right? This is like me saying she do be looking like a snack. But what if she has the Roni, right? What if her personality sucks? The graphics do matter. The looks do matter. But at the end of the day, it's all about the gameplay. It's all about the personality. Good thing they're taking time. The graphics might actually look good this time, right? And also, on the other hand, Aaron. Greenberg he officially confirms that and he works for Xbox marketing right and he officially confirms that Xbox Series X launches this November with thousands of games spanning four generations and we got some experts out here saying that hey this is damage control so it is official that Xbox Series X will launch in November but they do not tell us like the exact date right like when exactly it's gonna come out but I'm glad that they have confirmed it's gonna come out in November and the word on the street says that hey they are gonna be putting this baby out in the first week of November because they know that ps5 is gonna come out on november 20th so they're like you know what we gotta blow all of our load at once and the rumors also suggest that actually this news comes from an insider who claims that xbox series x will be a lot cheaper and that made the scientists to believe that xbox series x will be hundred dollars cheaper where like xbox series x will be 399 us and ps5 will be 499 us and if that happens that's gonna be a massive w for the xbox right and you know these are facts right because on black friday during christmas sales parents are gonna look at the ps5 and the xbox series x and if they see a hundred dollar difference in price they're surely gonna go with the one that is cheaper they do not care whether it's ps5 or xbox series x they're gonna go and buy that xbox series x for their young ones okay so i think xbox might find a comeback and another thing here is that the rumor suggests that xbox series x is gonna be releasing in the first week of November where we know from the Amazon listings that PS5 is gonna release on November 20th but that is from the Amazon listings right that is not confirmed or anything like that PS5 Sony can look at what Microsoft is doing and they can always change their dates they could be like okay so Microsoft is trying to put this out in the first week of November let's go ahead and put it in the first week or the second week they can always do that right but if the price for the Xbox is gonna be hundred dollars cheaper that's gonna be a massive move right and I think some Sony ponies will convert and I want to pass this this question to you guys if you're a sony pony will that convert you to be an xbox let me know in the comments below speaking of the ps5 event we're hearing that sony will reportedly going to reveal the ps5 release date and price at its next press conference which could take place in late august or early september and the reason they might push it to september is because of the fact that xbox is also going to be having their reveal this month where they're going to talk about the price they're going to tell us the release date i mean they legitimately confirmed the release month so that is quite possible now and sony is waiting for xbox to blow all their load and then they are going to be like okay it's over 
for a time to blow. We're also hearing that the next PS5 press event will supposedly deliver other significant announcements, including information about backwards compatibility, exclusive games, and a PlayStation 5 teardown. Leaks suggest that it's gonna be God of War, right? And I really hope that's true because I definitely wanna fire some dopamine because uh, 2020 has been a disaster year, right? Like Cyberpunk, Call of Duty 2020, and God of War. I, I think that's gonna be a reward for us uh, surviving the, the 2020. L let me put it that way, okay? It also says that Microsoft is already expected to make a splash with its own Xbox event this month, where the cheaper Xbox Series X console will reportedly drop, and we heard leaks and rumors, and we also have photographic evidence, and it's coming from the Xbox Series X controller, where we see the S mentioned as well. We had leaks about this console for months now, and it looks like that they're finally gonna reveal this this month, but treat this as a leak regardless, right? They can always delay it, they can always push it, and plans can always change. But speaking of Call of Duty, this is gonna blow your mind, right? And uh, before I actually dive into that, before I kind of blow your mind, I really do not know why Activision has sent like all that boomer stuff to these millennials, right? And no shots to Mr. Dalek JD, right? Like expert says that he took 10 minutes to open up that lock, all right? And listen, all right, I, I actually met Dalek, all right? He's a cool guy, okay, admittedly, he's a <laughs> He's a cool guy. And I'm also gonna put myself forward and say that if I was in his shoes, I most likely would have failed this big as well. But uh, but here's the thing, right? I would have probably watched a YouTube tutorial prior to actually live streaming. Uh, smash the like button for me to be brave and actually accept my flaws here. But seriously, why is Activision sending all that boomer stuff to these millennials, right? I will say this. I really dig the marketing. I really dig the Easter egg. I think that they are not looking to blow all their load at once, and that's perfectly fine. But admittedly, there has been some psychiatric that came forward yesterday that said that hey why, where is the reveal right we waited so long and it's it's august and normally around this time we have betas this and that which i absolutely agree with i think that if this game was revealed back in may and they were starting to do like these teases that would be fine and the reveal really was meant to happen back in may this is what vgc said they put up this article and seriously all of these leaks were true and this is what vgc said in May, Warzone kicked off a meta game which sources indicated would conclude the, with the unveiling of the next premium Call of Duty Black Ops game, and they said that the game's marketing plans have been delayed partly by the Roni situations. This is a website where the, the next teaser will take place. On August 14th, we're not gonna have the trailer, we're gonna be having another uh, Easter egg step. I'm perfectly fine with it, but for sure, it feels a little bit long, right? But this is the part that kind of blew my mind a little bit, because if you go over on the Who is record and you put in the Pawn Takes Pawn website that is about the Call of Duty 2020, you can see that this website is apparently 197 days old and it was actually created on January 27th. So they were planning all of this for a long, long time and this was really meant to happen back in May, but they kind of delayed it till like June, then they delayed it till July, and then they delayed it till August. The, the good news in all of this is that finally it's happening, right? Like I'm glad that it is happening. That's what I'm gonna say. For sure, I'm liking what they're doing with it, but but at the end of the day, dog, if the reward, if the outcome is bad, if the outcome is not like train go boom, then I think a lot of people will be disappointed. But share your expertise down in the comments below. The reveal is nigh. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep a chat like you in the loop. So I'm gonna be streaming that August 14 reveal as well. Or I should say the teaser reveal, right? Uh, so definitely turn those notifications on. Click on any of the video on the screen. You're gonna get a kick of dopamine. And I will see you right there. Stead muffin out.